Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good afternoon to all. Okay, welcome to the sharing session entitled Global Investments. Okay. Alright, I am Alia, the moderator for today's session. Okay, before we start, let us all Muslims recite the Mufitab al Fatiha. I mean, I mean, Ya Rabbal Alamin. Okay, I would like to invite Dr. Rizalawati binti Ismail, the, the, the Deputy Re Director of Business Development, Marketing and Training of IEM Academy, to give a few words to welcome everyone here. Please welcome, Dr. Uh, <clears throat> Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon, everyone. Um, I hope you just had this um, uh, lovely uh, lunch <laughs> before our sessions. So uh, I um, would like to welcome everyone to these sessions and thank you so much to um, Ben Muamalat. Uh, thank you so much to um, our guest speaker for today. Uh, we welcome you and then thank you for um, sharing uh, all the knowledge, experience about gold investments with us today. So I don't want to talk a lot on this because I'm sure that everyone's here want to listen to uh, your talk. Uh, so I just pass over and welcome everyone. Thank you very much, Alia. Over to you. All right. Thank you, Dr. Rizalawati, for the welcoming speech. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, puas sudah menanam ubi, lenas datang dari seberang. Puas sudah menanam budi, emas juga dipandang orang. All right. So this is a very classical Malay pantun, isn't it? Beautiful. And in this pantun, it is clearly shown that the importance of a must, or we call it as gold. So investing in gold, is investing in gold safe and easy? And when is the right time for us to invest in gold? Why do we need to invest in gold? And I'm sure all of us here are eager to know the answers, right? So to answer this question, we have two special speakers from Bank Muamal at Malaysia, Berhad. Okay, the first one, we have Mr. Fazli Zainal Abidin, okay? Can you raise your hand? Yeah, the investment business manager. And also we have Dr. Hajah Sarima Basha, the vice president, wealth management and open banking department. Welcome, okay. Let us start with Mr. Fazli first to share his thoughts on and knowledge on gold investment. So Mr. Fazli, the session is- well, I'm so, sorry, Alia. Uh, actually, uh, Dr. Sarima will do the introduction. Then oh, okay. uh, I'll continue with that. Uh, thank you. Okay, it's okay. So, okay, let us start with uh, Dr. Hajar Sarima Basha first to share your thoughts and knowledge on gold investment. Please welcome. Okay, Assalamualaikum to all. First of all, thank you very much on behalf of Bank Muamalat Malaysia for the opportunity granted to us today. So, uh, we are more than happy to share our knowledge on gold. Um, just a little bit about gold before we talk about the gold investment opportunity in Bank Muamalat Malaysia. So when people talk about gold, it's actually a, quite an, a theme, a major theme actually last financial year, mainly due to what COVID, because during crisis, gold price will go up. Uh, not only that, uh, as participants for today, listeners, you need to know about gold. The first thing is about demand and also supply. When I talk about demand, it'll, it actually will be a shock also. If I were to share today, actually more than 70% of gold demand actually goes to jewellery and also electrical and medical. So it only leave around 30% to 40% or so for the investors and speculators. And I'm sure we have seen many of the jewellery shops are being, uh, I would say the queue was long, not only last year, is even getting longer this year. So that only supports that majority, in fact, more than 60% of gold demand go to jewellery not even gold investment. So when it comes to supply, the interesting part is when people talk about asset, people will compare whatever commodities to fiat currency. Why should I invest more in commodities as compared to fiat currency? If you look at the two, when you talk about gold itself, above the ground every year is actually increasing by 1.5% in the demand. When it 
talk about the supply is limited because the ground uh, gold is actually diminishing. In fact, by 5% on yearly basis. If you look at that statistic alone, the supply of gold is very limited. Unlike fiat currency, we all know fiat currency are printed money. Even though it's governed by central bank and is governed by the government of each country, but the, the fact remains, it can be printed. So you are actually comparing something that is with limited supply versus unlimited supplies. So uh, is gold a good asset for you to hold? Actually, it is because gold is a real asset. If you look at the gold itself, it has got an intrinsic value. And if you compare to financial asset, what are those? These are what we categorize as bond, suku in Islamic terms, and also currency. So you're talking about real asset versus financial asset. So I am sure most of the listeners in this group are, are elite people, literate. Definitely you want something that you hold, which has, uh, we are actually real asset. You want to go back to history about gold. Way back when people talk about commercial business, gold and silver are already in existence. During that time, people traded using gold and silver because why? It's easily transported, it can be carried, and it can be exchanged from one person to another. But of course, as we go further, then silver was no longer taken as uh, one of the system for trading. It only left gold. But even then, in, 18, uh, in 1994, actually, gold was also removed because then Bretton Woods system come in. They put a fixed exchange rate on gold. For every 35 USD, it is fixed to one ounce of gold. But in other words, when they created uh, an exchange rate for currency, which is fiat money, it's always being backed by a real asset, which is gold. So what is the scenario now? Is it all the fiat currency is being backed by real gold? That is a question I think you can answer yourself. So in 1971, uh, when U.S. especially realized they don't have enough gold to back them up. So gold was also pulled out as the, the underlying asset to actually back up the fiat currency. When that happened, uh, actually USD weakens in terms of value. This is the first time that you see a lot of inflation happening in U.S. And during inflation, gold will spike up. So it was a good rally for gold during that time. But two decades after that, you see a declining trend for gold. But only recently that we see awakening again. So we call it a bullish market for gold. So the question come again, like what just now the, the moderator was saying, is it still a good investment? So before you decide, you need to know first, what are the types of gold investment there is in the market? First is you have the physical gold. Uh, this is the minted, uh, normally the investment gold, the 9999 priority. I'm not talking about jewelry, it's an investment gold. Second, there are a lot already in the market, gold account, but you need to be careful. Some of the gold account are not backed by physical gold. Uh, in Islamic bank, uh, our gold are actually, even the gold account are backed. Every gram that we sold are backed by the physical gold that is kept in our vault. And then, of course, the second option, you can go for paper gold. Now, there are a lot. Uh, you can trade it electronically. You can buy ETF or you can buy the gold derivative through the CFD. Or the third one, of course, the most commonly known is jewellery. But jewellery is not investment gold. It's not 9999 in priority. It's either 916 or 850. Bear in mind when you buy 916, it's actually uh, indicating the purity of the gold is 91.60%. 850 is 85% purity. So this is not known normally. People will just say 916 or 850. Okay. Uh, then what are the positive and negative if you were to decide to invest in gold? If you are looking for a dividend return yearly basis, this is not the investment for you. Positive side, I did say just now, real asset, limited supply. Uh, but the negative aspect, there is no yearly dividend like ASB or if you were to put in tabung haji. Just like when you put somewhere your money in property, there is also no yearly dividend on that. So it's more on the capital appreciation. So another positive thing is it performed well during recession. It performed well when the stock is very volatile. 
it performed well during war. It performed well when you have a financial crisis or just not, uh, or what happened last year. We were lucky enough or unlucky. Um, I leave it to you. But you you were able to observe what happened last year when there is a crisis. What happened to go? Okay. Thirdly, when interest rate is low, um, like what is happening right now, the opportunity cost for you to actually take your money and invest in gold is very low. So if you want to try a new form of investment, this is a good time because if you were to put your money in uh, FD or if you put in FDA, the, the, the dividend is very, very low. And gold is, of course, a tangible asset. It is not fiat currency, it's not printed, it's tangible. And it is um, very lowly correlated to any other asset class. You all know if you want to invest, you must make sure not to put all eggs in one basket. And you need to diversify. And bear in mind, even if you were to diversify, you put some of the money in SB, Tabung Haji, you buy property. By the end of it, you are still playing with fiat currency. And the currency is in Ringgit Malaysia which is just now a printed money and is also sustainable to the economy, politics situation in Malaysia. If you were to buy into gold, this is uh, putting you, putting you actually in the global arena. So whatever happened to Ringgit will not affect because this gold is governed by the supply and demand, not in Malaysia. It's global supply and demand. It's global financial crisis and all that. So that is where it is a good asset for you to diversify your investment. Of course, the negative aspect is if you were to buy the physical gold instead of the gold account, you need to think of the uh, storage, the liquidity, where am I supposed to sell? And then if you buy a lot, the transportation, if you want to move to one place to another. And of course, physical gold, the cost, the transaction cost will be much, much higher. Uh, so that is why make the correct choice. There are a lot of supplier uh, gold um, uh, suppliers in the market. Uh, but uh, Chet Fazli later on will share with you why it is more viable to buy from a bank. Uh, because we not only selling gold, but we cover the whole ecosystem. Okay. And I want to just give a last advice. Uh, to invest in gold, in fact, for any other, uh, other investment also, you need to know what are your financial goals. My financial goal can be different from yours. Mine can be short. The other person may be medium term. Another person may be long term. And what are the, the money is required for? But also differ from one person to another. So first, you need to ask yourself, what is your financial goal? And then always split your goal investment because like I said just now, there are various means. You can split it also. And um, just to share lastly, if you were to buy a gold 30 years back, uh, like myself, I'm age 53. If I were at age 23, if I were to buy a gold, it has already increased more than 500%. So if we were to average it out, roughly is around 17% return a year. So if you think that is not good enough, um, of course, there are other instruments like house uh, property investment but that need to be based on location and you must make sure that you have money huge amount of money to lock your money in the property itself where else when it come to gold because of the flexibility now allowed by certain supplier for bank muamalat for instance our goal is as low as 10 ringgit investment because we did it under vbi concept we want to help the society to expose the alternative investment to make it accessible to all walks of life. In fact, Ben Muamalat have won the West Society Award in London in 2018 for this aspiration. Okay, so um, I'm not the main speaker for today. The main speaker is actually uh, Encik Fazli. Um, he has been long in, in the arena of investment. He was also part of the fund management team before. Uh, he will share in detail why gold is viable uh, investment type for you and why you should choose uh, investment gold that is offered through Bank Muamalat Malaysia. And as a person, I'm not talking as uh, the head of uh, my department, as a person myself, I have an aspiration today to retire by age 60 
not just having EPF and ASB and tabung haji. So I already started a few years back to ensure so that by the time when I retire, I have a minimum of one kilogram of gold. So that whatever happened to Ringgit Malaysia uh, when I reach age 60 or when I need the money um, above age 60, uh, whatever happened to Ringgit Malaysia, I already lock my asset, my, my money in gold, which is actually exposing it to global market. So with that, I want to thank you for the opportunity today. And I hope uh, the short introduction of gold helps you. And um, I'm free to be called. Um, you can email me um, at sarima um, at muamalat.com.my. And um, you can also ask uh, Cik Fazi lot of questions after this. With this, thank you very much. Have a good session. All right, thank you, Dr. Just Sarima Basha, for the sharing session for introduction about the gold investment. Okay, without further ado, we would like to invite Mr. Fazli Zain Abidin, the investment business manager, to give his explanation on gold investment. Please welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alia. All right, Assalamualaikum to all of you. Um, Alia, can I uh, share the slide? Yes, sure. You may share the slide. All right. Uh, boleh nampak ah? Can, can you all see my slide? Yes, you can see the slide. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, thank you very much uh, again for the opportunity uh, for Bank Oman. Okay. Um, uh, just now, uh, during Dr. Sarima's int uh, introduction, uh, she briefly uh, mentioned about the history of gold. So I, I put it in the slide so that you all can see in a, a clearer picture. So a uh, gold coin was introduced uh, 550 uh, before century uh, the first gold coin uh, it was then used as the medium of exchange and then uh, in uh, during 1870 to 1914 uh, they, they, they were gold standard in um, uh, paper money was introduced fiat money was introduced uh, 1870 to 1914 14 uh, and then 1944, uh, during the uh, Bretton Wood, uh, the, the, the gold standard is no longer used. Uh, that means a uh, uh, country no longer need to, to, to have the gold to back the, uh, uh, the, the, the currency. Uh, during that time, uh, gold price was uh, 35 US dollar per ounce. Uh, 35 US dollar per, per ounce. That was 77, uh, 77 uh, years ago. Uh, today, uh, the spot price uh, uh, is 1,700 uh, US dollar per ounce. Uh, that is uh, 4,000 over percent increase uh, for 70, 70, 70, uh, 77 years since 1944. Uh, right? Okay, um, uh, Dr. Salim also um, mentioned about uh, the type of gold as investment. As, uh, and as mentioned, most of uh, gold purchases, uh, more than 70% is on jewellery. So jewellery, uh, as, as, uh, uh, as we all know, has, has been very, very famous, uh, uh, very, very popular among uh, uh, not only Malaysia, globally. Uh, uh, people buy jewellery, then they keep uh, or they can, they can wear it as uh, accessories. And the only uh, uh, disadvantage. The, 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 the advantage is you can wear it, wear it as uh, an accessories, and uh, the disadvantages are uh, if you were if you were to consider jewelry as an investment, uh, you have the uh, safekeeping risk. Means you have to uh, you, you, there, there are risks to 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 keep the jewelry, or a risk of uh, uh, losing it or being stolen, uh, misplaced and whatnot. Nah. So and then um, another thing is. Uh, Jewelry spread is uh, between uh, 20 to 30 percent. Uh, now, this due to competition, the spread has uh, come down. I mean, maybe uh, from 18 percent or 17 percent, uh, depending on uh, which uh, which uh, gold shop you go to, lah. Right? And then number two is uh, uh, what is better than jewelry for an investment, but is less popular, is the uh, uh, 
minted gold bar or uh, investment gold. This is uh, specifically for investment. Uh, it is available in uh, in Pokong, Habib, uh, uh, popular gold shop. Lah. But um, it is also available in banks huh? like uh, Bank Muamalat, RG, right? even in Maybank, they also have uh, Kijang Mas. Right? So physical gold, um, similar to jewelry, you have the safekeeping risk, uh, but the spread is much lower. It is between 10 to 15 percent. Uh, depending on where you are buying it. In Bank Muamalat, it is uh, uh, 10 plus percent, uh, close to 11 percent. So that is for physical gold. And then uh, number three, uh, you have the uh, gold account. So gold account, uh, in in any banks, uh, they have gold account. The only thing is you, you, have, to, uh, you have to ask whether it is Sharia compliant or not. Uh, whether or not yeah, the, the gold account is Sharia uh, compliance. Most banks, uh, conventional banks like uh, UOB, uh, HSBC, or CTIMB, they also have a uh, gold account. Uh, the spread is much lower than 7.5%. Um, the one that I put here, 7.5%, is the gold account spread for uh, Muhammad gold account. A spread, uh, spread in Malay, uh, normally known as susut nilai. So susut nilai for jewelry is 20 to 30 percent, physical gold 10 to 15 percent, uh, gold account for bank Muamalat is 7.5 percent. Uh, you go to some other bank, uh, conventional account it is much lower. It's, uh, it's non Sharia compliant account. Uh, it can be as low as only 2 percent or 3 percent. So those who are sensitive to uh, Sharia status of the account, uh, uh, gold um, Muamalat gold account is the the lowest spread. Uh, if you are, uh, those investors who are not sensitive to the Sharia status of the account, uh, they may opt for conventional banks like Maybank. Uh, uh, the, the spread difference is mainly because of the the cost of holding the physical gold. You know, when you buy a gold account, uh, when customers buy a gold account with banks uh, that hold uh, the uh, physical gold, they, their cost of transporting the gold cost of keeping the gold, uh, cost of uh, uh, protecting the gold uh, with Takaful. So therefore, the spread is much higher as, comp as uh, opposed to the uh, conventional bank. So uh, Bank Muamala is 7.5%. Uh, if you compare with the conventional bank, uh, it is higher. But if you compare with uh, uh, Sharia compliant uh, account, it is the lowest uh, spread for gold account. And then uh, the fourth one that I put here is um, gold related unit trust. There are also unit trust uh, that invest in gold and uh, gold mining company. So for an example, uh, this uh, precious metal fund, it is by uh, M Invest. Uh, M Invest, the fund manager is M Invest. Uh, so this unit trust, the price movement of the fund is uh, highly correlated with the movement of gold price uh, but the volatility is higher why uh, higher volatility because uh, they, are, they, are, they are they are not only invest in gold they also invest in uh, palladium and uh, platinum and also gold mining company right so uh, the, the volatility is higher so uh, for an example if gold price increase by 10 percent and the unit trust uh, that invest in gold related uh, instrument could increase by 15 percent or even 20 percent and if gold price went down by 10 percent it could go down more than 10 percent maybe 15 percent or 20 percent so depending on uh, the investor risk appetite uh, they can choose whether they want to invest in unit trust uh, that is uh, gold related or a gold account uh, in terms of preference uh, some some people they prefer to to buy jewelry you know? because many because you can wear it as accessory uh, in fact the most uh, the, the 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 majority of uh, gold transaction uh, is in jewelry not in the physical gold or gold account or even unit trust that is uh, gold related right um, some people uh, they don't mind paying higher spread let's say they want to invest in gold they want to buy physical gold minted gold bar uh, they don't mind paying uh, uh, higher spread and they, they, they don't mind having higher spread. Why? 
because they want to hold the goal. Uh, they don't want it to be in in the account. Uh, they want to see the goal. They want to hold the goal. Uh, they want to keep it. Yeah, uh, want to keep the goal uh, at home. Huh? So uh, depending on your preference. But uh, if you ask me, uh, when I wanted to invest, I would choose the investment with the lowest cost. Lah. So of course, uh, between physical goal or goal account, I would choose goal account. Okay. Uh, other than these four, there are also uh, platform uh, via mobile, like uh, provided by uh, Hello Goal or uh, Quantum Metal or others. Huh? But that one you have to use mobile. That is not very popular yet in Malaysia. Uh, because um, um, Malaysian are not very confident to invest in uh, you know, invest in gold via via telephone or mobile application. Uh, most prefer to go to jewelry stock shop or they just walk into the bank, right? So, okay. Um, which one is a smarter strategy? Uh, wait, wait, then buy, or buy and then wait? Uh, of course. Um, if you most most people they 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 wait and they wait for the right time to invest. Uh, if you are lucky enough, you can buy at uh, at a lower price. Uh, if you are not very lucky, you wait and the price increase because uh, gold price uh, it has been proven historically. Uh, the price always was, uh, will always grow higher uh, every year. But of course, uh, there are years or situation where the price uh, came down. Well, like this year, if you you look at the price this year, uh, the first quarter of the year uh gold price uh drop the most for the past four years so if you look at it uh, the market is bearish the price have dropped so um some people uh, take the opportunity the long-term investor they take opportunity to buy today uh, at a lower price uh, some still wait uh, wait uh, uh, uh if there's opportunity to buy more if the price uh, drop further so whether the whether or not the price will uh, go up uh, in the short term uh, that is uh, something that nobody know. Uh, a lot of prediction and a lot of uh, analysts or economists they predict that uh, the price in the short term uh, will drop further. But uh, of course, uh, later I will share with you uh, some of the catalysts that uh, will move the gold price further uh, this year, whether it will go up or go down. Okay. Okay, this is uh, some return simulation based on historical return, also shared by Dr. Sarima just now. I, I just um, uh, took the return from uh, from the uh, website. So um, for the past one year, for the past one year, gold price uh, only increased, uh, increased by uh, zero point nine eight percent or one uh, percent for the past one year. It means uh, today is uh, April. If you invest. Uh, you buy gold first uh, of April uh, last year, first of April uh, 2020. You keep the gold until today. Uh, your return will, be, will only be one percent, uh, only one percent for one year. That is because the price uh, for the first quarter the price dropped uh, close to nine percent uh, this year alone, first quarter of the year. So in five years, uh, the price has increased. Uh, almost 50 percent almost 50 percent or uh, if you look at the analyzed return uh, analyze uh, the compounded return it is about 8.4 percent uh, 8.4 percent if you invest 10,000 ringgit, you buy gold 10,000 ringgit five years ago uh, your investment will you will be uh, close to 15,000 because the return is almost 50 percent but for 20 years if you invest uh, 10,000 the return is 631 percent so your 10,000 will grow to 73,000 or the compounded return is about 9.6 percent per annum right so this this is the uh, based on historical price so this year is not a very good year for gold first quarter the gold price went down by uh, 9 percent okay uh, skip this one okay uh, some um, Famous people who suggested gold investment, of course, uh, our uh, Prime Minister, previous Prime Minister, uh, Tun Dr. Mahade. Uh, according to Tun Dr. Mahade, dollar seperti tisu tandas. Dollar is like uh, toilet, toilet paper, toilet, toilet tissue. And because of uh, a lot of uh, uh, stimulus or money printing by the uh, Federal Reserve, the US government. And then uh, Robert Kawasaki. Robert Kawasaki is uh, one of the 
a famous uh, investment advisor or financial planner. He also suggested uh, gold as an investment. And then uh, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett also a very uh, famous investment guru, or one of the richest men in the world. Uh, according to Warren, um, Warren Buffett, last year he sold, uh, sold, uh, he dumped uh, airline stock, he dumped banking stock, and he, he started to buy gold mining company. So Warren, uh, why why this is very important because Warren Buffett has been against gold investment all his life. He he don't like gold as an investment he has been against gold investment uh, since the beginning but last year uh, he start he started to buy gold mining stock so a lot of uh, a lot of people or in the finan uh, financial planner believe that there's a fundamental change uh, in the economy there's significant fundamental change in the economy uh, moving forward because when uh, Warren, Buff Warren Buffett as, a, as an investment uh, expert uh, a very uh, successful investor start to buy gold mining company so a lot of people believe that there's a fundamental change in the economy okay um let me share with you also um some uh comparison uh, between the uh, property price you, you see here uh this is uh a property in uh petaling jaya um in year 2002 the property price was Three hundred and twenty-six thousand. Uh, during that time, if you want to buy the house using uh, ringgit, you need three hundred twenty-six thousand. If you were to buy the house using gold, you need close to eleven kilogram, because that time gold price was uh, thirty-six uh, ringgit per gram. Uh, thirty-six ringgit per gram. Uh, in twenty twenty, uh, the property price. Uh, Went up to seven hundred and fifty thousand uh, in Petaling Jaya. If you want to buy a house in Petaling Jaya, double story house, uh, you need seven hundred and fifty thousand or more. Uh. So this is seven hundred and fifty thousand on average. Um, but if you want to buy the house using gold, you only need uh, three kilo of gold. Uh, you don't you don't need to 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 have uh, because last time in two thousand two you need eleven kilo. Now you only need three kilo. But you're using ringgit. Uh, you need more ringgit to buy the house, but you need less gold to buy the same house because uh, the price in 2020, uh, 250 ringgit per gram. It's actually, uh, in 2020, the price was higher. Uh, today, it's about 24, when one price, uh, gold account is 243. So this is 250, you need only 3 kilo. So the, the property price has increased uh, more than 200%. Uh, but if you're buying it using gold, you only need uh, three kilo instead of eleven kilo. Right. Okay, let's keep this one. Okay, what move uh, gold price? Of course, number one uh, price mover is uh, U.S. dollar. Uh, whenever the U.S. dollar, uh, uh, if you, the, the U.S. dollar weaken, uh, you need more U.S. dollar. You need, you need more dollar to buy gold, so gold price increase. So dollar, uh, when US dollar weaken, gold price increase. Uh, number two uh, is the economic, uh, vice versa, if US dollar uh, strengthen, uh, the gold price weaken, uh, gold price go down. And then number two is the economic uncertainty. Right? When the uh, when the economy is uncertain, there's a negative news, the, 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 the uh, uh, investors are, are scared. They want to protect their money. They want to preserve the value of their money. Uh, they will withdraw from the equity market uh, and they put it in uh, either bond uh, or gold or even uh, the US dollar itself. Uh, they, they just withdraw and cash, their invest, cash out their investment. So uh, gold is one of the asset that uh, investor choose in the event of uh, uncertainty when the economy is uncertain, like what happened last year. Um, Goes, gold price increase because of uh, one is because of the uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, number two is because of the stimulus uh, a lot of money being pumped in into the economy causing the uh, inflation so the higher the inflation uh, the better for the gold price so uh, moving forward uh, a lot of uh, economies uh, they anticipate uh, they anticipate higher inflation in the US that would cause uh, dollar value to go down, eh? dollar value to go down. But uh, today, due, due to uncertainty, 
uh, demand for dollar increase. So US dollar since uh, last last week and today last month, uh, dollar has been increasing trend, causing the uh, US dollar uh, gold to gold price to to go down. But in the event of uh, high inflation, um, in general, in general, gold price should increase. Gold price should increase. But there's also other thing. Um, even with high inflation, high inflation or high uncertainty, uh, investors nowadays they, they, they can also choose uh, other asset. And because today we also have Bitcoin. Uh, um, in the event of a, a higher inflation, uh, people also may might, might, might not want to invest their money. Uh, they just keep it in uh, gold or they go to uh, a bond. Uh, bond. So um, generally, if the uh, inflation is higher, uh, the gold price should be higher. So uh, is it a good time to invest now? Um, okay, uh, let me share with you. Um, last year, last year, um, around uh, uh, the price, uh, gold price peak uh, exceed above 2,000 US dollar per, per ounce in August 2020. Uh, the uh, WHO, uh, World Health Organization announced uh, or, or declare COVID-19 pandemic um, in March, uh, in March 2020. After that, every month, every month, the US, uh, the Federal Reserve, uh, they, they, they pump in around one trillion, uh, one trillion dollar uh, on monthly basis to the economy. So since then, uh, since then, the, the gold price has been increasing trend. So there are two factors. One is the uh, flush of uh, money. And number two is the uncertainty. So um, now the current price uh, is one thousand seven hundred. So the, the the price has not moved uh, moved much. When the price went down below one one thousand seven hundred, you see a lot of uh, uh, interest buying interest. When the price went up around one seven four zero one seven fifty, you see a lot of people are taking profit. But uh, at any point of time, when the price is near one thousand seven hundred the price is near to what it was uh, before uh, before covid uh, before who announced uh, uh, covid as the global pandemic so last year when the price went up to above 2000 uh, us dollar per, uh, per ounce and you go to uh, jewelry store uh, you want to buy jewelry nine, even 916 gold uh, the price is more than 300 ringgit per ounce uh, per, uh, per gram now you go to jewelry shop uh, gold price is only around 200 and uh, 250 or even 240 plus a 245 or 250 per gram so last year the highest was more than 300 ringgit per gram so a lot of people they 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 they, they feel like oh oh i should you should have buy the gold uh, earlier uh, because the gold price increased more than 300 ringgit per gram and uh, they want 916 gold as jewelry gold or even uh, our gold investment account bank of investment account uh, the highest was 296 per gram uh, during that time a lot of people uh, regretted not buying when it was lower so today the price has uh, came down to what it was before covid so it is a second chance for long-term investors who wanted to buy gold for their long-term investment objective to again buy uh, gold at the price before before covid so um all right um let me go through what we have as the uh uh, for the uh, for from Bank Muamalat, uh, so for Bank Muamalat, uh, there are two type of uh, gold 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 uh, gold product. One is the uh, physical minted gold bar. Uh, number two is the gold account. So uh, the gold that we are using is uh, uh, Perth Mint, uh, Perth Mint from Australia. Uh, why the bank choose Perth Mint? Because uh, there are many gold supplier, but Perth Mint is uh, one of the gold company that is backed by uh, government. Uh, so Perth Mint is backed by the Australian government. So the bank want to choose a company that is uh, more stable like uh, Perth Mint, uh, but it's backed by the Australian government. So we have two, one is physical gold, one is the gold account. Um, if you want to invest uh, at the at the lower cost, we will recommend you to invest or buy uh, gold, uh, gold account because gold account, the spread is lower. Uh, when you want to invest, you have to 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 know the spread uh, spread for gold account 7.5 percent for uh, minted gold bar or physical gold uh, 10 percent 10 plus percent uh, or 11 percent 
uh, so 7.5 or 11 percent if you are buying jewelry will be uh, up to 30 percent uh, if you are buying a uh, a gold physical physical gold outside at jewelry shop maybe uh, around 15 percent so that is uh, the first thing so whether you want to buy the uh, gold account or physical gold uh, gold account the gold uh, is kept by the bank at the bank vault uh, uh, for for free uh, without any charges okay that's the first thing okay number two is uh, Muhammad, bank Muhammad, uh, gold is not only uh, buying and selling you can also do buy and sell online. You can transfer the ownership online. Let's say if I buy the gold, then um, I want to transfer the ownership to, to my friend. Right? I just uh, I just need to have the account number. Uh, I can do it online uh, via our Muamalat uh, online banking. I put the, uh, the, the, the my friend uh, account number, then just transfer uh, in gram. How many gram I want to uh, transfer? One gram, two gram, three gram, uh, depending. So. Uh, you can buy and sell over the counter. You can buy and sell online. Uh, you can also transfer online, uh, transfer the ownership online. And then um, we also have the uh, guarantee buyback. So uh, in the event that you want to sell uh, or you want to redeem your investment, gold account, you can do uh, redemption. You can sell online. Uh, sell, you redeem immediately. Uh, immediately, the money is transferred to your account. Uh, if you want to buy and you want to do it uh, over the counter you can you can also do it over the counter you can you can walk into the branch you can sell uh, at the branch so the money is transferred to your account immediately okay uh, number two is uh, and then the next one is you can also uh, do aranu if let's say you you need the money but you don't want to sell because if you sell the gold today Right. When you want to buy back the gold, you need to, uh, you 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 have the spread as your cost. How much you you buy? Uh, you buy when you there are two price, bank buy price and bank sell price. Bank will sell you at a higher price. When bank buy back, bank buy at a lower price. So when you have purchased the gold, it is in your account uh, for your long term investment. If you need the money temporarily, you know for certain that you uh, you wanted the gold to be in your account uh, back when you have the money. So you want to sell today, you buy back later. So uh, you have the uh, spread as your cost. So what you can do is you can do Aranu. You can uh, you, you can do Aranu uh, for the gold physical gold or the gold account, both. Uh, you can do, both can do Aranu. Right? Uh, the bank can give up to 80% uh, or 85% of the uh, market value of the gold, right? Uh, so we have guarantee buyback. You can do RNU, right? You can do transfer. Uh, so uh, not only buy and sell. Huh? If you buy outside, you buy go outside. Of course, you can also do RNU with bank. But right? uh, you want to you want to uh, buy gold account. A gold account. I think uh, I believe in Malaysia the only uh, place where you can do RNU for gold account is in in Bank of Malaysia. Uh, I, I, I don't know any other bank that have this kind of facility, only bank or Malay. You can do Aranu for gold account. So if you invest in the event that you need the money, but if still you want to keep the gold, you can uh, Aranu whatever you have in the account. Okay, uh, this is a little bit about Perthmin. Uh, so we choose Perthmin because of uh, the status of uh, government back uh, company. Okay. So the gold is from Australia. But if you buy gold from Bank of Malay, your gold is kept in the bank vault. So you don't have to worry that, uh, you know, there's no gold. Right? You buy outside. There's a lot of other company providing this kind of uh, facility. But uh, of course, you, ha you you have more confidence if you're buying from, from a bank. Yeah? Because bank is a highly regulated uh, company, yeah? regulated by Bank Negara, Securities Commission, or not. So your money is safe. Okay, um, I, I also wanted to share with you guys uh, um, what website you can go if let's say you want to you want to learn about gold, right? You want to learn about gold. Let me check. I, okay, I cannot open the gold. Okay, Num number one is uh, goldprice.org. So in, in this website, 
if you want to monitor the spot price for gold this is the spot price uh, 229 right? 229.07 if you want to buy gold at uh in if you say you want to buy jewelry 9916 uh, the price of gold in the jewelry shop or even in the bank will be based on the spot price so if the spot price increase uh, the gold price in jewelry or even in the bank will also increase how much uh, the, the the price may be different uh, for an example like bank wamalat uh, the gold account price is 243 uh, as opposed to the uh, the spot price is only 229 per gram you can here you can change you want to you want to look at uh, how much per ounce you can change here so this is in uh, in a gram uh, again 229 per gram so uh, bank wamalat our spread is about 7.5 percent so seven percent uh the the selling price is seven um, plus seven percent from the spot price uh, the bank sell price the bank buy price is uh minus 0. 0.5 percent from the uh, uh from the spot price so if you go to jewelry shop uh, their their spread is uh much higher so the jewelry could be up to 30 percent so uh, two to nine plus 30 percent and then the uh the buy buyback price when they were they're buying back gold from you you say you want to trade in it could be lower so maybe 215 or 210 depending on the shop lah, depending on the shop so this is the spot price this is uh, the uh, return lah, return from gold price if you look at it 20 years five years one one six months 30 days and today so it is updated uh, every second yeah, every second so here also you can uh, you can uh, you can read news and then you can 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 have the, uh, the the opinion about the gold outlook uh, number two is uh, the first one it goes goldprice.org uh, number two is uh, world gold council world gold council Uh, World Gold Council website. Jadi boleh buka World Gold Council. Tadi buka. Maybe I can open here. So there are two websites. So one one if the uh, one is the uh, World Gold Council, one is the uh, goldprice.org. So these two uh, websites, uh, you can uh, give you more information about gold. So um, why why you want to invest with uh, Bank Marmalat? Number one is uh, the spread is lower. Right? The spread uh, for gold account is lower, much lower from any other gold uh, investment um, account yeah, we, we in, the, in the industry. Number two, uh, it is uh, Sharia compliant. Uh, it is Sharia compliant. You go to uh, conventional bank, the spread is lower, but uh, the um, uh, the account is not Sharia compliant. So um, that is why you 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 you, you want to uh, consider Muhammad as the uh, investment number. Number three is uh, we have we are not only uh, buying and selling. We also have other other things like uh, Aranu. Uh, you can do online, whatnot. Okay, um, we are left only another 10 minutes. Um, can, can we open for any question? Uh, Alia, if you say you guys have any question. Okay, um, okay uh, do you, do you yeah. have questions uh, from the chat box? Chat box. Right. How, how do I open the chat box? Okay. Do you want me to read it uh, on top of the that? The one with the button, green button. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh. All right. Okay. We have questions from Mr. Hazlin. Hazlin, what is the difference between gap by public gold and gold account by Bank Muhammad? Oh, okay. A very good question. What is the difference between gap by public gold and gold account by uh, Bank Muhammad? Okay. Um, it is, um, first of all, um, both are LBMA certified gold. 
If uh, public gold and bank of my both are LBMA certified. If you want to invest in gold, you you need to know that whether the the gold is LBMA certified or not. So um, public gold public gold is also uh, LBMA certified. Muamala is also LBMA certified. If you want to buy gold with public gold, uh, uh, you 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 may want to buy with public gold if you are buying physical gold, because their physical gold, if you are buying at uh, a larger denomination. 20 gram, 50 gram, 100 gram, uh, public gold spread is cheaper than Bank Muhammad. Right? But if you are buying 10 gram, uh, then the, the spread, Bank Muhammad right spread is cheaper. But if you are buying gold account, uh, definitely uh, Bank Muhammad right is cheaper. Uh, so public gold, uh, the gold is also LBMA certified, uh, Bank Muhammad right is also LBMA certified. You can buy both, you can buy public gold, you can buy Bank Muhammad, right. both are uh, uh, certified LBMA gold. Uh, the only thing is, uh, Diaz is cheaper when you're buying uh, 20 gram denomination or 50 gram or 100 gram denomination. But if you're buying a small denomination, like 10 gram, Ben Muhammad is cheaper. But if you're buying gold account, then Ben Muhammad is also cheaper. Uh, but uh, if you ask me, which one is better? Both are good. Both are uh, LPMA certified gold. Ben Muhammad and uh, public gold. Uh, uh, but then I, I like to add uh, here. For uh, Bank Muamalat, because of our complete ecosystem uh, as a purchaser, once you buy gold, you can, uh, outside technically, you can buy and sell. In Bank Muamalat, you can also, if you want to use the money desperately, you need not sell. Let's say because um, the price during that time is not viable for you to sell. But you need uh, cash. You can unlock using our Arano, Islamic pawn, pawn broking. And for those who have a quite substantial amount of gold, sometimes they also don't want to liquidate the gold. They can use the gold as collateral for financing. So if you were to purchase from us, you can get the physical gold account. You can buy over the counter or through online. You can uh, do pawn broking, uh, which is green day. We won't test the gold because the system will already state that it belongs to us. Then you can also do gold as collateral. Then not to mention our online banking, you can do actually 24 hours buying and selling. Uh, and you can do transfer. Transfer means if I want to give as, as a gift to another person, I, I can transfer two gram to two gram. There is, there is no requirement for me to sell the gold and reconvert back uh, because then you'll be losing because of the buying and selling pricing. So this is the ecosystem that we provided to our customer. Just that when you go and purchase Go with Habib, why certain people like to go to Habib because of the design and all that. So here we make sure when you purchase go with us, it's not merely buy and sell. It's a whole holistic journey. Okay. Um, next question is uh, from Saifuddin. Uh, is it recommended for us to buy gold by using Smart Saver through Hello Gold application? Um, I'm not very familiar with Smart Saver Hello Gold application, so um, I, I can't answer that. Is it okay if I buy gold through application or get by public gold without redeem any physical gold? Um, yes, it's okay both uh, because uh, they are both uh, backed by physical gold. You don't have to redeem. Uh, next one, what is the difference between investing gold in Muhammad Gold account and public gold? Gold accumulation program. Okay, uh, this gold accumulation program is uh, similar like uh, you, 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 you are borrowing money to buy. Uh, right? If you 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 are buying, let's say you want to buy, uh, you are you only have uh, ten thousand. You buy gold with uh, the gold accumulation program. Uh, you have you can times your investment by ten. So. You only have hundred thousand, but you buy gold value. Uh, you you only have ten thousand, but you buy gold value, uh, hundred thousand. Uh, so the uh, there are pro and cons. Uh, in the event that the gold price increase, you make more money. But in the event that the gold gold price drop, uh, you lose more money. Uh, so uh, in Muhammad gold account, uh, currently, uh, but in the future. Uh, uh, we, we never know. But today, if you buy gold account with Bank Muamalat, uh, it's one to one. Uh, you only have 10,000, your investment value is only 10,000. Uh, the public gold, gold commission program, you buy 10,000, you can times 10, means 100,000. 
If the gold price go up, you make more money. So the gold price go down, you lose more money. Okay, so it's, it depends on uh, your your investment uh, appetite and your risk appetite. If you are you 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 are somebody who like risk, you might want to multiple your investment, whatever money you have. But of course, there are risks to it. Right? Uh, depending, if the price go up, you make money, more money. You price go down, you lose more money. Right? Um, is there other question inside? No. No more. If you have okay. any questions, yes, you can ask. Um. Okay, I, Alia, I, 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 I see. Uh, there are three questions about public gold. Um, maybe you try to open both. Huh? you, you, you have public gold, and then you also have Bank Mo Amalat. And then it'll be a lot easier for you to compare because uh, you want to open a gold account with Bank Mo Amalat. Uh, the minimum is just uh, ten ringgit. Uh, not much. Huh? and even if you invest uh, hundred ringgit, if the price go up, uh, pun tak jadi kaya. Price jatuh pun tak jadi miskin. And so just try to open account and you can compare from there. Uh, one thing. Okay. Um, another thing is uh, if you are um, if you are interested, uh, you're interested to open the account, you um, you can go to Bank Muamalat branch at the UIA, UIA branch uh, and go uh, and, and see Puan Siti Hajar Sim. Uh, she's the branch manager for uh, Bank Muamalat uh, UIA branch. Siti uh, Hajar Sim. I just put her name here. Any any more uh, question? Okay. Um, for those um um, uh, well, actually from the vicinity of the university, but we know they are also participant. Uh, um, oh. actually not from them, but um, uh, this goal is actually can be open at any branches. Bank Muamalat sixty seven branches nationwide. And uh, you just need to be an account holder of Bank Muamalat. You need to have a saving account. Or current account and from there if you don't want to open the gold account over the counter you can already open via online once you have a deposit account with bank with our bank so it's as simple as that so you can buy and sell immediately so it's as liquid as that as you sell just like amana saham uh, berhad you sell and buy immediately go back into your saving or if you were to purchase then debit from your saving into the gold account so it's as liquid as one, two, three. Okay, so that's why we encourage you all to start accumulating. If today you are not buying any Starbucks or you're not buying any McDonald's or KFC, you save more. So because it's as well as 10 ringgit, you can already purchase. So you can do it on daily basis. You can buy three, four times in a day. You can buy during weekend. So there's no limit to it, yeah? We have someone raised hand. Mr. Alpha, isn't it? If you have any questions, you can unmute your microphone and introduce yourself. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Izati. Sorry, I just be able to join this uh, session. Um, recently, I have I already have an a gold account and uh, from Bank Muamalat. But recently, I received a call from Bank Muamalat stated that uh, we can somehow do the Arahnu program using the gold account. So may I know the difference between you know. Uh, my uh, the goal uh if i transaction is the arahnu as well as transaction by selling i only have used selling meaning that i buy gold and then i sell the gold so that i can get cash back through online account lah. but then with this arahnu system i'm not sure how does it oh work. okay i can i can explain uh arahnu is like uh pajak kada islam uh, people use this facility when people need to use money for a short time. Meaning, let's say you need to use uh, 5,000 now and then you know within two or three or even six months or nine months down the road, you will get already from your bonus or somewhere you already money coming in, then you know that you can pay back the 5,000. You know how Arano uh, work is they give the financing to you under Kadu Hassan and then there is the upah simpan to it. So what it does is, if let's say you are a person 
who who don't mind uh, to go into uh, pajak gadai um, which this is islamic pajak gadai that's why it's called aranu and you you don't want to sell the gold because you know if you to sell today you may not get the price of the gold now maybe after you sell in six months you want to buy back the gold pricing is not the same and you are afraid that it might be higher so you just want the cash for now for a short interim so aranu is the solution for you but let's say if you don't want to keep gold anymore or you already have 100 gram so you think uh, you you don't want to keep that much you only want to keep 50 gram moving forward so you may sell let's say if you need 20 gram now to be liquidated to cash you may sell no need to take aranu so it goes back to what are your financial goal and what are your needs your immediate needs uh, why we say is uh, we give you the Aranu facility because firstly the goal belong is actually our goal and if you were to go and do a normal Aranu using your jewelry there'll be a test uh, done on your jewelry to ensure that it is 916 there is an a, a, a test performed on the jewelry if it's already our own goal the system will already have your serial number and all that so this is what we call it green lane Aranu facility Meaning, uh, just like when you're sometimes you receive a call, the bank straight away give you uh, a, a credit for certain twenty or thirty thousand. They don't ask you to fill up forms and all that. So this is the uh, how would I say the facility we give to our own gold customer under our ecosystem. If you have the MGI gold, you need immediate cash. You can do Aranu. Meaning they will just earmark uh, from your book. Uh, how much is it that you need then they will advance the money to you right, okay I, I hope that that answers uh, your question uh, yes, meaning uh, with us you have two options if you buy other gold maybe you can only sell if you want the cash here you can sell or do Aranu but the Aranu one cannot be done online eh? have to go to the branch ah uh, yeah okay. yes yes thank you very much all right. Okay, is there any other question they would like to ask? Uh, kalau tak ada question, I just want to add, if you love reading, if you were to buy uh, books dulu about Robert Kiyosaki writing about rich dad, poor dad, after that, the cash flow quadrant, then he wrote a lot in the book about property. Kalau you were to buy dia punya quite recent book, actually he was no longer talking about property. He talks about gold. He said people who own gold will run the world. So I think uh, for us to buy property, especially in the prime area, is very costly now. And the margin of financing also is very stiff. Kalau third uh, houses and above. So I think with with now gold be make it, uh, being affordable like our bank we make it as low as 10 ringgit to make sure everybody can have a piece of the investment um, i strongly encourage especially bumi putra uh, to get into investing gold just try out uh, just like what Encik fazli kata tadi you need not a huge amount of money you just can try every week from whatever money you save from your lunch and all that just just try Try it out, yeah? Thank you. Okay, I'm opening. Is there any question? Okay, Mr. Alpha, all right. Uh, okay, hello, salam alaikum. Salam. Okay, I'm, I was trying to get in. It's very difficult. Okay, I just want to know: Are international allowed to invest in gold? I mean, uh, sorry, I'm international, but my wife is Malaysian, so I just want to know. Yes. Okay. Okay. Your question is whether or not, uh, if you are not Malaysian, you can invest in gold. Yeah. Um, but, do, do you have uh, uh, the uh, saving in uh, current account with uh, Bank Muhammad? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have. I have. 
uh, okay for 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 foreigner to open account you have to go to through a process where mm -hmm. they have to do the risk assessment yes. um, depending on the uh, approval uh, okay. if they uh, we get the approval then we can open the account uh, okay. uh, we, we also we do have a foreigner uh, with a uh, gold account with Bank Muhammad uh, uh -huh. we also have foreigners where they want to open and the the the, the uh, application was rejected, so okay, uh, right. you can you can try, Mister Alpha. All right, all right. Okay, okay, good. And of course, alternatively, since you have a Malaysian wife, yes. you mm. can always open the goal under your wife name, and you are afraid about estate planning. Uh, our bank do offer a full range of wealth management product, including of hiba, uh, wasiat, which is rewriting. Uh, living trust, everything. So we have a complete range of estate planning product as well. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, you're most welcome. Okay. All right, is there any more questions from the participants today? Okay, I think. There are no more questions for Mr. Fazli and Dr. Hajas Harima. Mm, no more. So my last word is, um, uh, of course, the choice is always yours. Um, all goal are good for investment. Only make sure it's Sharia compliant. And you must make sure uh, whichever company that you are buying from is sustainable. Sometimes the goal is Sharia compliant, uh, the goal is valid, but make sure the company is also sustainable. Uh, so find a source that you know will, um, like we are a bank, we are governed under bank negara. So when you are buying from us, you know there is that security backup by uh, by uh, government of Malaysia. So if anything were to happen to the bank, you know there are a stringent procedures already in place to ensure that the customer are not left without anything. So, uh, and on top of that, uh, like I said just now, we have a complete uh, ecosystem in the bank, not just for gold. We have also a wealth creation in terms of unit trust, uh, you want to create financing. Uh, and uh, for the estate planning, we have the whole range just now from various companies. And we also cover wealth protection. And everything is Sharia compliant here. We even have the non-financial product, the only bank in Malaysia that offer non-financial product which is funeral management and badal hajj. So we take care of our customer, not only at present, but also in the year after, because most of our product are with wakaf element in it. In fact, our saving account, if you were to use our debit card, each time you use, there is a certain percentage that is used to be in fact on your behalf also. So without knowing when you're using our product, you are getting the baraka here in the year after, because that is under Islamic banking concept, yeah? Okay, so I think we have come, okay, now come to the end of the program. Okay, thank you to all participants for joining this session with us. Okay, we would like to record our utmost gratitude to our honourable speakers from Bank Muhammad Malaysia Berhad, Dr. Hajar Sarima Basha, and also Mr. Fazli Zain Abidin for your time, knowledge and experience on both investments shared with us today. Okay, and also we would like to apologise for the inconvenience. Okay, the session is now adjourned. Before we end, let us recite Surah Al An. All right, thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, everyone. Okay.